Well, that was good, wasn't it? We get to we get to explore the world, uh, explore a new culture, see new things, taste new things, hear new things. I think there's a walrus at the bar. Sit in different chairs, but there's nothing quite like coming back to your own chair. The world? We only went to Montreal. How did we see the world? You're right about the chair, though. I do miss my chair. It's so comfy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we have a good old-fashioned shootout. Uh, ever since the show began back in... Oh shit, Dark Side of the Moon was new. 1973, uh, we have been inundated on a weekly basis. Hey, when are you going to do pineapple? Well, the answer is next week. Ha! Just joking. The answer is this week. Uh, we're very scientific. We have a can of Dole crushed pineapple as sort of a control for pineapple flavor. Uh, then we have Pop Shop pineapple. We have a, an entry from Britain with Bar pineapple, just 39p, cost me five dollars. And a bottle of pineapple cream soda from Jones. There's a teddy bear on the bottle. It is delightful. And bringing up the rear, we have Big 8 Pineapple. Five dollars, really? Yeah. That's expensive. For this experiment today, we're gonna need to use the little red cups of science. I do not like that. It's definitely not pineapple. I do like the pineapple taste that Jones has. What totally amazes me is how all of these drinks have a different pineapple taste. I think this one tastes the closest to actual pineapple. The big eight? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's surprising, I think so too. but it does. We, we sort of anticipated that this would go two ways. It would go A, the most accurate pineapple flavor, and then B, just something that we prefer the taste of. Yes. And surprisingly, it turned out to be the same for both criteria. I think so. Surprisingly, it's, I, it's gotta be big eight. Which is very surprising because um, even at a corner shop, uh, a two liter bottle is going to cost you about 250. Right there, that's surprising. You can gather from that, that's a cheap pop. Yeah. And yet somehow... They won. In both categories. Very surprising. Let's let's touch on the, the other uh, beverages fairly quickly. Uh, pop Shop. I enjoyed Pop Shop. It was... It had a pineapple taste. It wasn't... Real pineapple, obviously, no. but it, it but was good. But it, it wasn't overwhelmingly synthetic either. No, it wasn't. And I'd say until we got to the big A, the pop shop was really the contender. Yeah. Uh, bar. That was disgusting. I, I, th I think it's just a fun little quirky British joke. I think it's actually pine space apple. Like it's a mix of, of cider and pine needles. Definitely wasn't pineapple. Definitely wasn't pineapple. 
uh, which is very disappointing because I'm an honorary Briton. I have accepted uh, Queen uh, Betty II as my head of state, as my sovereign leader. And, you know, uh, I can listen to all the Oasis I want, and I just don't think I'll, I'll warm up to Mars. And finally, the, the Jones Cream Soda. Jones never really disappoints. I love Jones. She always says that. I usually cut it. Um, but for these, for, for these, it's Montreal. For this uh, particular category, I, I think it didn't really work because it does have that extra cream soda flavor to it. I agree. It was good. It was really good, but not quite what we were looking for. It did have more of a cream soda taste than actual pineapple. Yeah, so in, in the realism category, it, it kind of faltered out of the gate. Um, great, it's a great pop, but mm -hmm. I, I did actually end up preferring the El Cheapo Big Eight. Very surprising. Very surprising. And if you don't have Big Eight where you live, um, Food Line? Piggly Wiggly, whatever they have. Picture that. It's Win basically Dixie? just a cheap, a cheap pop brand. Yeah, it's basically a generic. Yeah. But it's limited to a particular distributor. Mm -hmm. Hi, John. Um, well, that, that concludes some of the science. Yes. But there is still a test left. <sighs> That's really nice, actually. Is it better with a half? Yeah. Have you heard K-Ray's new album? I heard it shit. You know who I hated? Who? It's that fucker from the french fry commercial. What well, fucker from the french fry commercial? Oh, the McCain one. You know, dipshit, he takes like six minutes to put on fucking ketchup. What? Oh, he looked like a poster child from 1983. That was some smooth pouring, sir. Some smooth pouring. Well, you know, uh, my mother didn't teach me much. What the fuck is that? I don't fucking know. I know a girl. Do you? I do. Fuck. Uh, and she knows a girl. I think there's monsters on our roof. Who is the cousin of Mr. Dressup. Hand to my heart, cousin of Mr. Dressup. I was just gonna say, how are you gonna open that with one hand? It takes two. I got skills. Multiply it. That ain't not bad. Oh, that's a good question. It's one of those gotcha questions. Well, Sir Molly Johnson. How to become clairvoyant? Funny thing, okay. if I sit down here, uh -huh. all casual like with Captain Kirk with an elbow on my knee. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> is that me? That was you. So what about this Lee character? He's awesome. I asked her for her thoughts and prayers and she tried to charge me. She does that. She wrote up an invoice and a payment plan. She does that. She tried to finance me. Prayers. And thoughts. Thoughts and prayers. What were you trying to do? I, I, well, I had to, you know, had to... I had a wager on a couple of ponies. The third album. That's you, the make or break. You just do whatever the fuck you want. Dire Straits' third album. Um, making movies. They How the fuck did this become a music show? Your lips are green. Really green? You're fucking colorblind. Your lips are what I think green are. Dentistry? 
Uh, Tom Petty's third album, Never Mind the Torpedoes. No, not, <laughs> not Never Mind the Torpedoes. <laughs> Damn the Torpedoes. Damn them. So, good news. Yes. I'm not diabetic. The toilet was just dirty. I think we have a leak. Do you hear water, or am I just drunk? weird because I heard it twice in two different places. Do you know what dog fucking sucks? Yes. Yes, they do. But Yorkies. go ahead. Yorkies. They do. If you have a Yorkie, I hate you. Yorkies are fucking assholes. Don't wait for your apology. It's not coming. Fucking assholes. Which is kind of generic, and I'm not an obvious generic person. Look at me. I have a fucking shirt with a goddamn paper airplane on it. You fucking Did tell you? me I'm generic. Yeah. Oh fuck, you gave some. It's three quarter sleep. I think that's all the third ops I can think of. I don't know. Garth Brooks. The fucking Garth Brooks? Was Rope in the Wind his third album? I don't fucking second. know. It's fucking Garth Brooks. Why would you know these things? That's You know, I, I feel Great. Great. But I, I feel like I've learned to understand our our, our Newfoundland brethren. Just, just a little bit more than we did an hour ago. I, I don't understand why you're so late to join Confederation. I don't understand most of what you have to say. But I feel connected to you. Deeply. And I appreciate you. I'm still gonna call you Newfies. Well, so what did we learn this episode? We learned that Big 8 is the best overall pineapple pop on the market in two separate categories. Yes. And we learned if you're going to pretend to be a Newfoundlander, you want half a red cup of science of good old-fashioned dark science juice. A splash of, a splash of genuine pineapple juice from a can from Thailand and top it off with Big 8 Bye Smells like pineapple candy. I uh, I might have put a little bit too much science juice in there. <laughs>